Lakers game in a second. We got to start this morning, though, with a little Clippers and Mavericks game six. L.A. with a chance to close out the series. Dallas without Kristaps Porzingis again. So it fell on Luka to carry the Mavs, and he certainly did his part. 38-9-9 for Luka. Not enough, though. Clippers winning behind Kawhi Leonard. 33 points, 14 boards for Kawhi. As the Clippers move on, they now await the winner of the Nuggets Jazz Series. But let's focus on this one for a sec. Nick, what did Kawhi and the Clippers prove by closing out the Dallas Mavericks in six games? Well, to me, Jenna, those are two very different questions. Kawhi once again confirmed he is year in, year out, one of the best and most consistent playoff performers in the league. He picked up exactly where he left off last postseason in this series. And if it wasn't for what Jamal Murray and Donovan Mitchell and Luka and LeBron have done in the first round, I think more people would be focused with, like, wait, what did, what did Kawhi average? 33, 10, and 5 on better than 50% shooting for the series? He was great. So he confirmed what he has been showing over the last four years when he's healthy. He's one of the best playoff performers in basketball. The rest of the Clippers, on the other hand, Brandon, didn't show me much. Paul George, after his breakout game five, was bad again. The Clippers, even when Chris Stapps misses the second half of this series, and the only real threat you have is Luka, they can't slow him down, and Marcus Morris continues to, well, be Marcus Morris. So, like, the very impressed <laughs> oh, by Kawhi, oh. but the Clippers, the Clippers as a whole, Brandon, I thought, <coughs> pardon me, were... A uh, B minus ish in the series. It's too early to be be talking about Marcus Morris right now. Give my guy a break. I know you covered him when he was in diapers, but leave him alone. To me, this series <laughs> was all about all the other headlines outside of Kawhi. You are right there, Nick. That fourth quarter reminded all of us who Kawhi Leonard is. When I was watching that fourth quarter, I just had to go back and look at the stat sheet. I mean, this guy started the series with 29 points. And then he followed it up with 35, and then a 36, then 32, 32, and oh, he ended the series with 33 points. And while he was diving on the floor and playing lights out defense, yep. this guy definitely picked up what you said, Nick, uh, where he was last year in the postseason, that championship run. Kawhi Leonard needs to be talked about more, but I get it. I understand. We were talking about PG. We were talking about Luka and how amazing he is. He's the face of the NBA. And even through Marcus in there, it's time for us to give this guy respect and continue to talk about how awesome he is. Um, Kawhi Leonard, best guy on the court right now. Uh, Nick, I I'll throw it to you in a second. But I don't know if you like Kawhi Leonard. Like, sometimes when we come on this show and you say things like, I don't even know if Kawhi Leonard likes playing basketball. And other times you give him, like, these, like, kind of compliments. Like, if we weren't talking about Luka and Donovan and Jamal Murray and, and LeBron <laughs> and Damian people. Lillard, we'd be talking about Kawhi. It's like... Kind of a, I don't, I, are, do, you, are you, do you really like Kawhi or do you not like well, Kawhi? I, listen, are you just talking about I, Kawhi because we got to the top of the show? Listen, no, I, I, the, I have a tremendous respect for Kawhi Leonard as a basketball player when he plays. I got two issues with Kawhi. One is not his fault, one is his fault. The one that is not his fault is he was anointed best player in the NBA status by some there we go. after the Raptors beat a beat-up Warriors team. And that, to me, was not only an insult to LeBron, it was an insult to Kevin Durant, it was an insult to... To Giannis, some could argue is an insult to James Harden, guys who had been performing at that level year in, year out. But the, the real, I guess, agitation that is caused to me by Kawhi over the course of the season is I think the way Kawhi Leonard treats the regular season is dangerous for the health of a league I love, Wilds. I think that if the Clippers, I don't think they will, but if they win the title, then it just further confirms, you know what? Who cares about the regular about season? That. Who cares if guys play more than 65 games? It's not good for the health of the league. So I just, I'm, I'm not a oh, fan man. of that, but nobody denies his overall talent level, unless you are trying to uh, anoint him. You know, Colin Coward says if he wins no the title, he's top five No one plays in a regular season. That is... No one plays in a regular Brandon, season, whether it's low management. 
Yes, it's very true. Whether it's load management or if it's the first half of the season, nobody's playing defense until after the All-Star break. So I just don't get this thing. Like, you know, this is modern sports. You got to take care of guys. So just real quick, Wilds, even if it's even if we're saying the level of intensity is ratcheted up in the postseason, mm -hmm. particularly on the defensive end, even though we're not seeing it this year thus far, I agree with that. But other guys play. Like this is easy. The, the load management with Kawhi is a very specific thing that just irks me. So that's what it is. It's not that I dislike him. And I, he's been brilliant. No, I get Wilds, it. I said it to start. Like it, he, he carried a Clippers team yeah. that otherwise this series was not that impressive, Wilds. Yeah, but do you but but do you have an issue with like every he did everything better in the playoffs? His minutes went up, his yeah. points went up, his assists went up, his field goal percentage went up, his attempts went up. So if you say, yeah. "Hey, I, 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 he was he's been great," I have an issue with how he plays in the regular season. But if the reason he's been great is because he's been load managing, yeah. it's because he's been saving up. Does that make your point null and void, or does that does that recontextualize your your criticism of how he handles the regular season? Preach, no, wow! Be, no, because the, the idea, but but Brandon, here's the thing: the greatest players in There's basketball, no thing. their numbers go up in There's the no postseason. Thing. What is it about? Is it about they, entertaining you, or is it about sure. winning championships? If it was your no, Lakers. Is it about entertaining mm -hmm. you throughout the regular season, or is it about winning the championship? It, it, to me, it's a false choice, and I hate that we're – listen, I, I, I'm not trying to attack Kawhi right now. I said he was outstanding. He's no, been one of the five best players in the playoffs thus far. But the, the, it, to me, it's a false choice because we have all these other guys – who play for the 90% of regular season games and still see their numbers go up in the right. postseason, still get to another level in the postseason. It'd be it, it, the idea that you have to do it this way. Maybe he does because he has a condition with his quad. I, I don't know. I know they went into the year saying this was the healthiest he had felt his whole career. So it just it, it didn't fit with me when he was sitting out games by Halloween. But I want to say oh, again, boy. Jenna, oh, he's boy. been unbelievable. Yeah, he has been unbelievable. No, I know. And you've been and saying the rest that this series you have. No, and I agree, and you have been saying that. All right, I, I want to jump back in and talk about the game. One of the headlines coming out of this one was that, that ongoing feud <laughs> between it. Luca and Marcus Morris. Look, it was brewing the whole series. It boiled over on that play right there after Morris knocks Luca to the floor in the first quarter. Subsequently ejected on the play. Listen to Luca <laughs> talk about it after the game. I'm going to say it's two games in a row he did something like that. And I really didn't hope so. The first game, it wasn't a purpose. But looking back at the, at the fall of this game, uh, you know what I think. So uh, just, I don't want to deal with that, that kind of players. Just move on. <laughs> I love the love Belichick cutoff hoodie there. Morris took to Instagram after the game, responding very simply with Crimea River clips and six. <laughs> all right, Nick, what'd you make of the play? You were f all fired up on Twitter <laughs> last night. All fired up. Yeah, oh, I well, it. and I mean, by the way, props props to Marcus Morris and for the clips in six. You, you, you took six games to beat a team whose second best player played ten quarters in the series with two versus seven. You should be very, very proud of all the hard work you did in the series. But, Brandon, Brandon, I rest my case, man. You were out here you defending Marcus <laughs> Morris for uh, for what he are, are you was this an accident too? Are you going to explain how this is? Nick, like, come on, come, he, he, he revealed Nick, himself. Listen, if me, if me, you didn't already see it, now you've seen it. Go ahead, Nick. Neither of us, neither of us made it to the NBA, but we both played ball growing up. To my time, when I started back in Orlando, Florida in 2000, walking into Lake Howe High School Gymnasium, Coach Cone, one of the most prominent basketball coaches in the history of, of Florida high school basketball, pulled me to the side and he said, Brandon, I know you can shoot the three. Brandon, I know you love basketball, but if you want to win, you got to play defense. And let me teach you the fundamentals of defense. And the very first thing he taught me was own the paint. If someone drives into the paint, 
You do not let them score the basketball. And if you foul them, you foul them hard. Because what does it, it makes no sense to foul a guy and he still gets the and one. Nick, you know this. Yeah. And, and, and I know you've been yeah. covering this guy. I already said that. But this, to me, is classic NBA basketball. You go back to the Pistons <laughs> and the Bulls back in the day. What is this? Tell me. Let's pull it's up. It's not film. that league. Tell me what this it's is. It's not that league anymore. Mm -hmm. That's 30.